Okay, boo cakes. This week in math, we're going to start a new unit. The unit is called shapes and space. To get started with this unit, the first thing we have to learn about are different types of lines. So I'm going to go through the different types of lines and then you can complete jump math pages 70 and 71 in your jump math 2.1 book. So let's get started. This type of a line is called a straight line. A straight line is exactly what it sounds like. It's just straight. So this is a straight line. This is a straight line. This is a straight line. There's no bends, no curves. It's just a straight line. So those are called straight lines. The next type of line is called a curved line. So curved lines are curvy. So a curved line can look like this. A curved line can look like this. It can look like this. So these are called curved lines. They have a curve to them. They're not straight like a straight line is. So those are curved lines lines. Some objects might have a curved side and a straight side. So what does that look like? If something has a curved side and a straight side, it might look something like this. So all of those lines are straight, but if I add something like this in it, now there's a curved line in there. Another one could be something like this. There's straight lines here, but up here we have curved lines. So some objects might just have a straight line, some might have just curved lines, and others might have a curved side and a straight side. There are two other types of lines I want to talk about today. They are called closed and open. Let's start with a closed line. A closed line is a line where you can get back to where you started without turning around. What does that mean? So let's look at this shape right here. Imagine that I am standing over here. Can I get around this whole shape without having to turn around? Yes, I can walk down this way, I can walk around this corner, and then around this corner, and I will get back to where I started. So a closed line is a line where you can go back to where you started without having to turn around. So this is a closed line. This is a closed line. This is a closed line. If I were up here, I can go all the way around and get back to where I started and I don't have to turn around. If I'm over here on this shape, I can go all the way around without having to turn around. These are all closed lines. An open line is a line where you cannot get back to where you started without having to turn around. So what does that mean? So something like this. If I'm over here and I want to go around this shape, I would go this way, I'd go around this corner, I come over this way, and then I get stuck. The only way for me to get back here is for me to go back around. So when that happens, that's called an open line. That means that you cannot get back to where you started without having to turn back around. So these are open lines. What's another example? This would be an open line. If I started over here and I were to walk all the way down, I get stuck right here. 
The only way for me to get back to where I started is for me to turn around. If that happens, then you have an open line. Another example of an open line would be this. That is also an open line. Let's do some examples. I'm going to draw a shape. I want you to tell me what the shape is and if its sides are curved or straight. So here, I have a shape. What shape is that? This is called a square. Does this square have sides that are curved or are the sides of this shape straight? If you said straight, you are absolutely correct. This has straight sides because it's made out of straight lines. Let's try another one. Let's look at this shape right here. Does this shape have curved sides or straight sides? It has curved sides. There are no straight sides here. It's all curved. What shape is this? If you guess circle, you are correct. This might look a little familiar to some of you. Does this shape have curved or straight sides? If you said both, you are correct. Here we have some straight lines, and then here we have a curved line. So this shape has both straight and curved sides. Now let's do some examples of open and closed lines. So I'm going to draw a shape and I want you to try and guess if it's an open or closed line. So let's start with this one. Is this an open or closed line? If you said open, you are absolutely correct. How do I know it's open? I know that it's an open line because if I were to start over here and walk all the way around this shape, I would get stuck right here. The only way for me to get back is to turn around and walk back to where I started. So that means this is an open line. How about the shape? Is this open or closed? If you said closed, you are absolutely correct. This is a closed line. How do I know that it's closed? Well, I can just look at the picture and see that everything is closed up. Or I can just imagine if I were to go around this shape, I can get back to where I started. If you can get back to where you started without having to turn around, it is a closed line. Or you can just look at the picture. Everything is nicely closed up. Is this an open or closed line? If you said open, you are correct. This part right here, if there was a line here, then it would be a closed shape, but there's no line here. That means that this line is an open line. I have no way to get back over here. If, this, if there was a line right here, then it would be a closed line, but there's no line here, so that means that this is an open line. open or closed this is a open line this there's a little gap right here so that means that this line is open if i were to start here and make my way all the way around i would get stuck right here i'm so close to getting back to where i started but because this line is open i can't get over there so i would have to walk all the way back to the beginning. So this is an open line because of this little gap right here.